The first known attempt at designing a boat that could travel underwater and sink other ships dates all the way back to 1515, when Leonardo da Vinci sketched up a crude concept. Fearing the potentially catastrophic effects that his innovation could bring, da Vinci abandoned his plans to build a submarine. The first known design for a submarine dates back to 1578 by British mathematician William Bourne. Submarines are now a massive part of most militaries across the world which defend their country's interests. Subs nowadays have gotten to a point that the normal person can't even imagine the work that was put into it. But let's take a step back and look at some of the earliest submarines ever made. Number 8. Argonaut Despite the great strides made in submarine technology by the late 19th century, most subs could only travel relatively short distances from the shore. The American engineer Simon Lake changed that in 1897 when he constructed the Argonaut, a 36-foot boat with a 30-horsepower gasoline engine. Unique to this submarine was a set of wheels that allowed it to drive along the sea floor. A periscope, diving chamber, and a floaty hose supplied air to the ship's machinery and its crew. After Lake had used the Argonaut to rescue sunken ships in the Chesapeake Bay, he took on what is now considered to be the first open ocean voyage by a submarine in 1898, traveling from Norfolk, Virginia to Sandy Hook, New Jersey. Number 7. Ictinio II First Steam-Powered Sub Spanish political activist and inventor Narx Monturial Juan Estarial was moved to create an underwater vehicle after witnessing the 1857 death of a coral diver. The resulting Ictinio II is widely regarded as the first submarine to use an internal combustion engine. 46-foot Ictinio II, the successor to the previous diving boat Ictinio I, acquired outstanding stability thanks to a system of weights and four pump-operated ballast tanks positioned within its double hull. Monturial employed a chemical reaction to produce heat and oxygen in an anaerobic steam engine to move the propeller. While it appears that the engine functioned properly and had a successful dive in 1867, the submarine was eventually sold for trash due to a lack of finances. Its revolutionary propulsion system was not duplicated until the 20th century. Number 6. Le Plongeur The Diver The French-built Le Plongeur was created by Navy officers Simeon Bourgeois and Charles Brune and was one of the earliest submarines to use mechanical propulsion. This 140-foot behemoth employed a piston engine driven by a compressed air stored in tanks to propel itself, rather than hand cranks, foot pedals, or treadmills. The air also served to oxygenate the crew and drain the ballast tanks mechanically. Although Le Plongeur was able to complete a number of dives successfully, its restricted oxygen supply and dangerously unstable structural design led to its retirement from service in 1872. In 1888, French engineers built the Gymnote, a more maneuverable submarine that was powered by electricity and solved many of the issues that had plagued the earlier vessel. Number 5. CSS H.L. Hunley The Peripatetic Coffin During the Civil War, the Confederacy built the rudimentary attack submarine H.L. Hunley to break the Union Navy's blockade. Built privately in 1863 in Mobile, Alabama, it was constructed from a repurposed iron steam boiler and had room for eight crewmen, one to steer and seven to spin the hand cranks that powered its propeller. A torpedo mounted on a 17-foot spar protruded from its bow, ready to explode should it collide with an opposing vessel. The first Hunley test earned it the unflattering moniker of peripatetic coffin, and with good cause. During its two testing runs, it sank both times, killing all 13 of its crew members, including the ship's namesake, marine engineer, Horace Lawson Hunley. A number of times the submarine was salvaged, and on February 17, 1864, Lieutenant George Dixon and a crew of volunteers sailed it into Charleston Harbor and successfully slammed its torpedo into the side of the sloop of war, USS Housatonic. The Union ship went down in a matter of minutes, but the Hunley also went down, presumably as a result of damage incurred during the attack. Despite making history as the first submariners to sink an enemy vessel, Dixon and his Confederate crew all perished. Number 4. Sea Devil In 1850, Wilhelm Bauer, constructed the first submarine. During a demonstration, he nearly drowned as the vessel sank to a depth of 50 feet. The Bavarian inventor didn't give up, and after much trial and error, he secured financing from the Russian government to build a new ship. He then built the Sea Devil, a 52-foot submersible vessel that could transport a crew of 12 men. Multiple ballast tanks provided additional buoyancy, an early version of an airlock allowed for passage to the outside, and the ship's propeller was driven by crewmen using an internal treadmill. More than 130 dives were completed by the Sea Devil before it disappeared. During the coronation of Caesar Alexander II, it performed its most unique feat. It sank while carrying a four-person band. Later, eyewitnesses said that they had heard the Russian national anthem being played somewhere beneath the waters. Number 3. Nautilus In 1800, American inventor Robert Fulton created the Nautilus, an all-metal vehicle commonly considered the first modern submarine, while working for the French government. The cigar-shaped hull and copper conning tower were only two of the many innovative features of the 21-foot vessel. It propelled itself underwater with a manual four-bladed propeller and surfaced with a foldable mast and fan sail. Fulton also tried using compressed air stored in copper bottles as a source of oxygen for his team while they were submerged with the use of diving planes. 
Several successful test dives were conducted on the Nautilus in the early 19th century, but the ship was ultimately disassembled and sold for scrap after failing to win over the French and English navies. In the meantime, Holden came back to the United States and became famous for creating the first successful steamboat, number two, the Turtle, first military submarine. Yale alumni and inventor David Bushnell gave the colonists a secret weapon, an experimental submarine codenamed Turtle, during the American Revolution. The single-person wooden vessel was propelled by a hand crank and foot treadle. It was able to go under and come back up to the surface of the water with the help of a pedal-operated water tank, and it stayed upright thanks to ballast made of lead. The mine, which could contain up to 150 pounds of gunpowder, could be planted in the deck of an enemy ship with the use of a screw if the vessel was controlled correctly. On the morning of September 7, 1776, Ezra Lee, a soldier in the Continental Army, sank the British cruiser HMS Eagle in New York Harbor by navigating the submarine Turtle under the surface. However, Lee had received inadequate instruction, and when he was unable to secure a time bomb to the ship's hull, he cancelled the mission and detonated his mine in the open water. Bushnell's innovation garnered him the respect of his fellow patriots, but he ultimately abandoned the submarine project after multiple failed efforts to sink an enemy ship. Number 1. Treble, the first submarine. The first functioning submarine was developed in the 17th century by Dutch polymath and inventor Cornelius Drebbel, who was employed by British King James I. Drebbel's submarine was likely a rowboat with a leather coating and a crew of oarsmen. Around 1620, he used it in front of King James I and hundreds of amazed Londoners to perform a demonstration dive 15 feet below the surface of the River Thames. We can only speculate as to how Drebbel's diving boat functioned because none of his plans or engineering drawings remain. There are conflicting tales as to how the boat was able to stay submerged while being rowed at high speeds. Some say it was a series of bladders or wooden ballast tanks, while others say it had a sloping bow and a system of weights. What do you think it was? What a blast into the past. It is such a contrast to compare these subs to the advanced technology we have today. If stories of the past are something that tickle your fancy, definitely check out our other video of a legend. Dive into the story of the revenge of Ratan Tata to understand his journey in the automotive industry and the landmarks he created. Until next time.